you know, I'm a rookie, so I'm doing this for my son. That's all I'm doing this for. I could, I could shoot him a little bit, maybe. Good. And he always says good morning. Well, it is actually morning. Where he is always like in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, I got up early and fed the cows. Ah, uh, nap. Not so much. Not so much. Um, this morning I'm going to run and um, uh, to the hog barns and check. I got to check my propane tanks on uh, one of them because we've had pigs there a little bit longer than the rest and I figure it's probably getting pretty low. I don't know yet, but we'll see. And then I've got to check and change the sensor and check on some work what some guys have done for us and then I'm going to load up the semis today and ship to Kansas City so that's my plan for the day did I turn it off and if my son does any of this stuff it makes me look like I'm working I look fat my face looks fat yeah that's better I don't know if Landon's actually videotaped any of the hog barns or done anything. Um, we've got six hog barns. We can hold about 15,000 head of uh, fat hogs. I've been in a nursery before, which that's just double stocking and going up to about 30,000 head. We've got generators at all the sites in case we lose power. Um, usually every morning I come in and check all the feed bins whether I need feed. Well, I just get the pigs in, so I don't have to worry about that <clears throat> today. So I usually check them like Monday, Wednesdays, or Fridays. So I'm going to crawl up here and check this. Well, you can tell it's about out where the frost line is. So that one's about empty. It's like got less than 5% and I don't want to run out of propane in the middle of the night because I don't really want to get called out. So let's just change it. They are uh, monitored at Princeton. And, but the problem is not very good cell phone service. So I don't know that they always are able to get reading. I'm going to go in. I'm not going to take the camera in today, but we will probably sometime do it whenever we're receiving pigs. And uh, I got a shower in. Well, I'm going to do this quick. It's a quick shower. Quick everything so I can get back. I got other things to do today. I got two guys working in there, so we'll be fine. Uh, I turned off. Oh yes, this is a good camera, and yes, this is an advertisement for Mountain Dew. Look, hmm. I'm going around to the back side. I'm gonna put some fan covers on a couple of rooms. So, well, first, so I keep the pigs warm, and second of all, I don't want to burn any more propane than I have. That's an incinerator, so all the dead pigs come back here, and we burn them up. I don't want, I didn't like the compost. So we, I put incinerators in instead. That's why we did that. Let's see if I can do this by myself. It's cold outside. Ooh, doo -doo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what the heck this thing's doing. Is this, is this, oh, is it? Oh, it's on this side, I see. My son showed me how to use it. I'm freezing my tail off. So, uh, I'm just covering up the fans right now. And that way, warm up the rooms better. And I don't have to worry about breeders. I don't want to light breeders. Because they're, they're, I don't know who invented them, but they must have been special. That's all I can say is because they don't work. They don't work. Okay. Well, they work. But I can burn a thousand gallons of propane in three days. And I've got 12 rooms. Well, it'd be six barns, so it'd be 6,000 gallons in three days. I don't really want to do that. So after further review, I don't know if I wore my gloves this morning. I'm 99% sure I had some. It's just, it's just a vicious cycle. Vicious. Vicious. I got some more covers. I'm going to finish doing this on the three rooms. That's all the pigs I got. I get We get 3,000 head a week on Mondays about 5.30 to 6.30 at night. And sometimes we sort a few of them. And then we wait till morning to finish doing that. So I'm going to flip the camera. And there we go. I think I'm not figuring it out. No, I'm not getting this. I don't even know why he gave me this. Is this right? Are we working? Yeah, there we go. I understand now. I'm so smart. I am going to have this figured out by the end of the day. So, I uh, started building hog barns in 2006. Two of them. These are the first two, and then I built... The next two nine months later and the real purpose was i wanted the manure and the income for my family but the manure is what i needed for the farm because our clay knobs are nothing but clay knobs i mean and if you would raise 100 bushel 120 bushel cord you're doing good and you can't compete in a this world if you're only doing that so but the last few years we've been at 185 175 185 right in there so it's done its job it's done its job we just got to keep on doing it that's all we can do keep making bacon keep eating bacon please gotta love it we want to run to the next uh, set of hog barns real quick like i said i don't have to worry about feed inventory today or anything else so that's a good thing. We have not uh, disinfected this barn, so I do not. I'm not going to shower in, but I'm going to see how the guys got along. <coughs> Pressure tanks for pond water. Backflow valve right there. That's so whenever you get um, public water coming in, clean water, that uh, it doesn't go backwards like with uh, any water meds or anything like that. And I'm trying to light my heater. It's supposed to get cold again tonight. I don't want anything to freeze. There we go. Um, these are water medicators right here. So we give them water meds. These are the controllers which tell you whether, you know, how warm or cold everything is. Oh yeah, they didn't get to here. So we're replacing all the walls in here with uh, PVC stuff. And then we're shooting down the the ceiling with new uh, paneling. You can see we've put new paneling up right here. So, 
and this is going into the other barn on here. So this would be barn three. Look at that. Brand new. All oh, nice. Look at that. Should have been done when we first built it, but I didn't know any better. Still learning. And then the last set of barns I put in uh, uh, aluminum ceilings and plastic fronts, so I don't have to worry about it. You can see how cold it is outside. I'm not going to put you in the bin today to see what you want. Don't want to look at a buck crack today. We're going to be inside sweeping it out. Cleaning it. Oh, what the heck did I do with my gloves? Oh, they're on thigh. I see them. I see them. Well, that was probably freaking interesting. You got the ceiling or whatever the whole time. I'm sorry and I apologize for that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, so it took us an hour and 27 minutes to load two semis. So now we're headed to uh, um, Kansas City. So we, I am, well, the other two trucks have already left. We are. Uh, headed to KC. Bartlett's where we're headed. I uh, got the auger ready. I, I, I can speak. I got the auger ready for when the guys come back. Dad and Jared. So they can fill up and go. we can go again. Um, I'm so happy that Landon can edit an hour worth of just looking at the seat or the ceiling. That'd be good for him to sit through. And yes, I can videotape and drive a semi at the moment. I say videotape. That's not the right word anymore. I'm so outdated. So I will uh, show you when we get there what we do. So made it to Kansas City. See that probe? They're probing. So they can get great test, all that splits, form material, all that crap. So, my son's gonna make fun of me. I either recorded 50 minutes of ceiling or the seat. And you know what? I'm not used to this thing. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. So I don't know how many of these damn bit, uh, <laughs> videos I'll do. Um, so, there we are. If you guys enjoyed this video of my dad farming um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, thank you guys for, all for watching and leave a comment what you think and what he needs to improve on and uh, we'll see how he responds and uh, I hope he uses the camera again soon look at me I can do this yeah yeah I can do this